Oh, shit, man. F man, you gotta be kidding me. Get the f out of here with this nut. Oh, shit, my bad, y'all. I forgot y'all was there. I guess on today's vlog, we're gonna touch on two topics. I guess they're important two topics. Topic one, which you heard in the beginning, which is profanity and how I use it as a supportive adjective in sentences. And the reason why I'm cursing, because yesterday's vlog, I did this lens test, you guys may have saw, and unfortunately, on the bottom right corner of the lens, there was some dust. Yup guys, you heard it, dust. It was like three dust particles, wanted to make a whole Bermuda Triangle thing over there in the corner of the screen and stuff. And when I looked at it while I was editing it, I noticed it. Yeah man, that sucks big time. And I'm telling you, you don't know how many times that's happened to me and I do my best before I leave the lab to clean up all the lenses to clean up the sensors to make sure everything's dust free but of course when you arrive on set dust flies on the lens and if you don't pay attention and make sure that it's clean before you shoot it'll literally ruin your whole shot if not ruin your whole shoot especially if there's dust particles throughout the whole video so what we're gonna do today is use a few tools here in front of me to address my problem my problem is there's dust on the lens and or the center of the camera. So what I have here is I have some Arturo Photo lens tissue paper. That's for all glass surfaces. I have a used 100% cotton wipe. I have an air blower. I have a pen cleaner, which comes with a brush on one end and which comes with a microfiber suction cup on the other end. I have the Nikon 80 to 200 millimeter telephoto lens. I also have the Sony A7S mirrorless body. I have a small bottle with a homemade solution with alcohol and water pre-mixed. I also have some Zeiss lens cleaning wipes that my buddy Reckless Life gave me one day when we went on a shoot. He gave me these in case I needed to clean my sensor or clean my lenses. So I think today's a real good time to clean it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna loosen up the caps, take off both caps. You guys are not gonna have the best view of this process, but you'll get the idea while watching me clean it. So the first thing I wanna do with this lens is I wanna blow off any loose dust particles. Any loose dust particles that may be on the front lens element or on the back lens element, I just wanna loosen it all up with this air blower and blow them off. And you guys don't see it, but I see small dust particles coming off. All right, great. So after I loosen all debris that may be on the lens surface, the next thing I'm gonna do is use this handy dandy brush that I actually didn't even mention. In the beginning, it's a brush that's actually really soft with like microfiber hairs. And I'm also just gonna pass it along the edge of the lens element just to wipe off any extra debris. Now after I do that, I'm gonna sit the lens down and I'm gonna do the next step. The next step is I'm gonna take one of these lens cleaning wipes by Zeiss. As you can see, they're made by Zeiss. Zeiss makes really good lenses. So what I'm gonna do is open up this Zeiss lens cleaning wipe, if I can get it out of the pack. You can see right here. Now I'm gonna take the Zeiss lens cleaning wipe and I'm gonna clean off some of the surface dust or surface smudge or debris. I'm assuming that this has some type of alcoholic solution in it for cleaning glass. So I'm just gonna wipe it. I'm gonna wipe the backside also, the inside of the lens element. Now this is a moist toilet. You definitely don't wanna rub anything abrasive or dry against your lens elements. The reason why we blow off all the dust in the beginning before even hitting it with this is because you don't want to wipe it and wipe any of the small, fine, microscopic grains of rocks, dust, sand, and scratch your glass. So that's why you must remove all the debris before hitting it with anything moist. So what I'm doing here is just cleaning up the glass itself. Just want to try to get any surface smudge or any grease off of the glass element. I'm not sure if you guys get a good view. So after I do that, I'm going to, my personal preference again, Remove any extra debris, just to be safe. These are very expensive lenses. The last thing you wanna do is ruin them. So I'm gonna remove any extra debris that may have been in the lens element. After I do that, I'll do the next step. Now the next step, again, it's a personal preference of my own. You guys may have a different method. You can feel free to comment your method below, but this is a routine that I like to do often. So in this bottle, I have some homemade alcohol pre-mixed solution. It's probably 80% alcohol, 20% water. I like using alcohol on glass surfaces. It cleans it up really well. So I'm gonna take this little spray bottle and I'm gonna spray the front of the lens and I'm gonna spray the back of the lens. This doesn't soak it. It basically adds a nice spritz. It spritzes it 
So I'm gonna go over here to these lens tissue paper wipes and I'm gonna open up this little booklet which comes with a variety of sheets which are lens friendly and I'm gonna rip off a sheet. I allowed the alcohol to sit on the lens element for about 30 to 60 seconds just to catch any extra debris that the Zeiss cleaning wipes may not have taken off. Now I'm gonna take this lens safe tissue paper and I'm gonna dry off any remaining moisture. I wipe the front lens element and as you can see, there's some dirt. You guys probably can't even see it here, but this lens wipe is a little brown. That means that this lens was really dusty. This one actually already broke up. You can still use it, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save it for the back end and I'm gonna grab a new one. And after I grab the new one, I'm just gonna go and hit the remaining moisture. So there's no moisture and it's moisture free. All right guys, so you guys can't really see the difference, but off the back, this thing's looking beautiful. There's still moisture back here from me spraying it earlier and not wiping it off yet. It's probably been on there for two to three minutes already. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these loose papers just so I don't waste them, and I'm gonna try to catch any excess moisture. And I repeat guys, don't do this with anything abrasive. Abrasive meaning anything rough. Anything with a rough surface that's not lens friendly. Okay guys, so I'm gonna hit it with one more of these lens wipes. All right, there you go. It looks great, it's clean. It's a shame because the angle that I have the camera, you could barely even see the lens in focus. And I'm sitting here on the other side of the table and I can't really adjust it. But you guys get the idea. So before I do the next step, I'll do one last hit with the blower, just to catch any loose debris because believe it or not guys, there'll always be some type of debris floating around. Now that I have that done and out the way, I'll take this little lens pen on occasion. I won't use it often. If there's any microscopic dust particles that get on the lens before I actually close it up with the lens cap, then I usually hit it with this. So I'll pass it around and it actually hugs the lens surface. And it's lens friendly, meaning it won't scratch your lens. I just go around. Again, if you have your own method, feel free to comment below and tell me about your method. Maybe I'll learn something from you, you know what I mean? We're both here to learn from each other. So that lens is looking juicy, yo. I wish y'all could see it. It's looking so juicy. You can't even tell the camera not even doing justice, but it's looking juicy. And I'll do the same thing with the back. Before I hit the back with that, I wanna hit it with the blower. And then I'm gonna hit it with the pen. And that gives it a nice surface. It gives it a nice shine. It looks really good. Overall, I'm happy. So that would be the basic steps that I would take in order to clean one of my lenses. Right now, it's looking pretty good. Of course, if I leave it open any longer, it's a good chance that particles may or may not fly in on the end of any element. So what I'll do right now temporarily is I'll close it with the rear lens cap and I also put the front lens cap on it just to protect it from getting any more dust. Great, so now I have it all capped up and covered. Remember I said I don't use the other side of this brush often? Well, here's a good way to use it. This is a little bit rougher, so you can get any rough debris particles that are on your lens or on your camera body that you may not be able to get by hand. You can use this and just dust it, like a CSI Miami investigator. Dust off any loose particles, any dust, any hairs. You can do this to the whole lens if you want. Right now I'm not gonna do it. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what this could potentially be used for. Now that we have that lens out the way, I'm gonna move the lens out of the picture and I'm gonna take this camera body, which is just a simple Sony A7S. Right now they got the A7S II, which is awesome. And who knows, they're probably gonna come up with A7S III or IV or A7S 5S X soon or something like that, you know what I mean? So this is really dope though. It's a really good low light camera. However, compared to my Panasonic Lumix, this thing gets dust particles so often. I don't know if it's the camera itself or if it's just user error. Since I've owned my Panasonic GH4, I have rarely, probably never had any dust particles come out on the sensor or on the lens while we're shooting a video. However, since I've owned the Sony, I've had several different shoots come out with dust particles on the lens or the lens element or the lens sensor. So this thing right here needs to be taken very good care of. So what I'm gonna do is a real quick cleaning of the body and the sensor before we wrap up here. This brush right here, before I put it away, you can actually just catch any debris on the body itself. You know, sometimes your body may actually have dust on it. If you're allowed to sit on like an office table at home or something, yeah, it'll actually get a lot of dust. But after dusting it all off, catching all the little cracks and crevices, you, know, you can catch all the cracks and crevices with this. After you do a basic brushing of the surface, now what I'm gonna do here is open up the sensor cap. Now listen, this is a very, very sensitive, delicate part of your camera. Do not go crazy putting any type of material in here to clean it. Do not, I repeat, do not go crazy using any type of material to clean that mirror in there. Because if you ruin that mirror and you scratch the surface, you pretty much ruined the camera. I don't know how much it's gonna cost to fix one of those mirrors, 
but I really don't want to know. What we're going to do before I head in with anything, kids, is guess what? You take a guess. Comment below. Yeah, I'm going to hit it with the blower, yo. I got to hit it with the blower. So I'm going to turn it upside down. In this case, I want to face it upside down, and I want to hit any dust that's in there, and I want it to fall out. The reason why I won't blow it like this, because if you're just blowing it, the dust is going to come right back up, and gravity is going to pull it right back in there, and you're probably still going to have dust around there. So what you want to do is flip it upside down and just blow out all the loose dust. This should go for any camera that has an interchangeable lens, a DSLR, a mirrorless, anything of that nature. These are steps that you can use to make sure that your body is clean and you're getting the best picture quality possible. So after getting all debris or loose dust particles out of the sensor area, next thing I'll do is take the alcohol solution, spritz it. Give it one good spray. As you can see, I gave it one good fine spray because I cleaned the area of all surface debris. After that sits for about 20 to 30 seconds, I'll take a new piece of tissue paper and I'll come to the camera sensor. As you can see, it still has some moisture. And I'm just gonna gently, gently facing down, I'm just gonna gently wipe the camera sensor. Right now, this is when all the viewers are cringing. Like, no, no, Tim, be gentle, Tim, don't do it. Say nah. But yeah, y'all. So the reason why I curse is because it comes in handy to just relieve tension, relieve any frustration. You know, I don't usually use profanity in a harmful or malice way. I usually use profanity as a supportive adjective, meaning I use it in a sentence supporting something. For example, oh, sh this joint is dirty. You feel me? Oh, sh didn't necessarily mean that I was mad at it or anything. Or, oh man, why this gotta be a bitch? You feel me? I called it a female dog, but I ain't call it a female dog out of anger. I just said, oh man, why this gotta be a Because I'm using it to support my sentence. Now profanity, I don't use it all the time and I don't use it around everyone. Don't get it twisted. I can be very, very professional or I can be very hood. Bitch, young boy, I beat you the up. F you talking about Or, hello, good afternoon. My name is Jim Smith and I'm calling about your executive accountant position. Or I can get professional. If need be, you feel me? I like to use profanity every now and then, you know, if I'm on my personal time, if I'm at home, you know, people who know me know I mean no malice by it. You know, I might say the F-bomb, I might say the B-bomb, I might say the sh bomb but at the end of the day, I mean no malice or no evil intentions by it. It's just a way to talk for me. It's a way to help support my sentence. Especially since I grew up stuttering, profanity has really helped me just vent. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, but my sensor is looking popping. It's looking really good. My lip gloss is popping, right? It's not looking juicy, but it's looking good. And again, before I tune out, I'm just gonna hit it with another little blow. You feel me with the little blower? Tell it all you need is a little blow job, you know what I mean? All you need is a little blow job and you get your camera right. But there you go. So I blow out any loose debris, make sure it's looking good. Let me check it myself. I mean, I just face you guys and check it. Now, I wouldn't hit this with anything else. If you want, you can hit it with like this really soft brush. You know what I mean? And again, face it down just to catch any loose debris. I know the word debris has been really popular on today's vlog, but that's what will get you here is the debris. It hurts because when you're editing and you're really trying to create a nice project and then you see one fine dust particle ruin your whole entire project because it's in the middle of your lens, it's like, damn, I can't even remove it because you can't remove the dust from the lens when it's already on the lens. If it's on the lens, I mean, you can add a dust filter or dust particles or try to cover it or work around it or put text in front of it or something. But at the end of the day, you still have dust on your lens. So don't be like me, guys. Learn from my mistakes. Take some extra time before your shoots to clean your lens, to clean your sensors. Even when you get on the shoot, guys, from transition to location to location. I've had a time where I was on a shoot and like an idiot, I sat my whole entire lens back down in a room that was, guess what, guys? A sandblasting room. Oh no, what a horrible mistake I made because everything in my bag had a thin layer of dust over it. The sand dust from whatever they were sanding, it was like an auto body paint shop. So whatever they were sanding got on my lens and boy, that was horrible, yo. But listen, learn from my mistakes, clean your lens, clean your sensor multiple times if you have to, in between sets if you have to, just always make sure that your lens and your lens elements are clean. Because at the end of the day, this is what makes the shot. So with that being said, I'm just gonna close her up 
But other than that, I have a really busy day. I've been editing all morning. I just got finished uploading yesterday's vlog. I had to set up real quick so I could vlog today. And then I actually have a screening in a little bit. And then after screening, I gotta get into editing two more projects, y'all. Yes, you heard it, two more projects. The grind don't stop, it's day 40. And people may have had Saturdays and Sundays and Tuesdays off and Wednesdays off and party days and all that cool stuff. But I ain't have none of that yet. Hold up, and what y'all thought I was gonna tune out without telling y'all what this little blue cloth was? I know y'all like, yo, tune, what's that blue cloth behind the camera, yo? Yo, what's up, dude? And I'm like, no, nah, yo, my bad. Say no. Nah. So this right here is a microfiber chamois cleaning cloth. So I'll probably use this after that whole process you've seen or in between shoots. As long as there's nothing really abrasive on the lens, I'll take this cloth and I'll just gently wipe it down. Just to get any smudges off because this will leave the surface really nice and clean. This is really good for cleaning lenses. Ain't no days off here. I'm grinding, y'all. Have a good day, y'all. Wish me luck. I wish y'all luck. Thank you for your support. Your support means the world. All 42 and a half of y'all. For all 26 viewers, I swear, like every day it'd be like a good 20-ish, 30-ish, steady viewers that tune in. Yo, I f with y'all. Y'all the real MVP. Thank you. Burman, over and out. Chip, chip, chip. Skit, skit.